Hi guys, here is how you can clone your voice using GPT so vids. Here is how you can password protect your PDO. So basically, we will be installing this GPT so vids to our PC. With only one minute of your voice data, you can train a good TTS model to clone your voice. So let's install this. It's super easy for Windows users, no need for detailed commands. Simply scroll down and you will find Windows here. Click on download the integrated package. The file size is about 6 to 7 GB, so it will take some time. Simply download this and we will be using this on Windows 11. Anyway, we have already downloaded this. So here is the zip file. Open it and let me extract it to the desktop. So this is done. By the way, to extract this, you might need 7G. If you do not have it, simply Google 7G. This is the one you can simply download and install on your PC. And you should be able to extract it. Anyway, so here is the GPT Soviets folder. You can delete the zip file if you want. Let me open this. And in here, we need to open this go webui.bat file. Simply double click on it and this will open in a browser but this will take some time. So this is the interface but all this is in Chinese. Let me quickly change this to English. Let me close this. Let me close this too. Right click on the go web UI and edit in notepad. And simply remove this z underscore cn. Everything remains the same. And save it. Now again open the web UI. So now everything is in English. Let me close this GitHub page as well. So this is GPT Soviet's interface. Now we want to clone our own voice. So here is our sample voice. Make sure your voice is at least one minute. But for this tutorial, I have made this a little shorter. But make sure you have at least one minute of your recordings. Let me keep this audio inside a folder. Let me put it in the new folder. Now copy this folder address. After copying it, in here we need to add our folder link. So paste it here. You do not need to change anything else. Let everything else be on default. And then click on Speed Slicing. You can see it is processing here. You can also open CMD to see the progress. Since I am using CPU, it is taking much time. So this is now working. And you can see it on the CMD too. So it is now finished. You can also see this in CMD. After this is done, go back to the Soviets folder. Go to Output. And on Slicer underscore OPT, you will find all your voices. Please note, it is better to use at least a minute audio. I have only used a small audio. Now after this, go to Denoising tool. It will remove the noise from the audio. You will see the folder path here. It is auto-selected, but if it is missing or empty, then simply copy this address there. Now click on Open Speech Denoising. You can see the progress on CMD. So you can see it is done. You can also see this denoising finished. After this, go to speech recognition tool. Make sure the folder path is correct. It should automatically be here. If not, make sure to copy this denoise path folder. Anyway, this is already here. Everything set to default and click on Open Speech Recognition. This will take some time. You can see the progress on the CMD. So this is done too. 
you can see it is finished here too. Now it will automatically add the dot list file here. If you cannot see the link here, go to the output folder and go to the ASR underscore OPT folder. You will have to add this location along with the file name. You can see it is the location of the file name. After this, click on Open Audio Leveling Web UI. This will list all the audio and corresponding text and you can play it. Hi guys, here is how you can password protect your PDF file online for free. The text and the audio is not correct. Simply correct all the text versus audio if there are any mistakes. Let me quickly correct all of them. This is very important. So we have made all the changes. Now click on submit text and save file. So this is done. Close this. Click here on close audio labeling if it is not closed earlier. Now let's recheck if our changes have been reflected or not. Click on open audio labeling. So here all the changes are made and it is working all fine. Let me close this and you can close it here too. After this is done, click on GPT Soviet TTS. Now give any model name you want for your audio. I will write my custom voice. This will auto use GPU if you have any. This PC does not have it. So I will leave this. Now on the dataset formatting tool, Add the denoise opt.list path. If this is not added here, make sure to copy this file path, copy as path, and paste it here. And make sure to remove the inverted commas. So this is all done. Leave everything to default and then click on open training set one click formatting. And here is the progress as you can see. You can leave everything to default. By the way, here is the audio dataset folder. If this is empty, use the denoise folder. And here is the list file we added. This take quite a long time. You can always track progress on CMD. So it has been done. After this, click on 1B fine tuning. You do not need to change anything. Now let's fine tune our model. Click on Open Soviet Training. So it is open and you can see the progress in CMD2. So the training is finally done. You can also see it here Soviet Training finished. Now after this, click on Open GPT Training. It is opening and this will take quite some time. I am just fast forwarding it. So this is also done and you can see it is all finished. After this scroll up and click on this 1C inference and click on refreshing model paths. In here you can find your own custom voice so choose the one with the highest value E15 I will choose this one. Likewise in the wait list choose the one with the highest value so 800 and this is done. Then take this Enable Parallel Inference version and click on Open TTS Inference Web UI. If you are using a CPU, then opening this will take some time. So here you can see my custom voice and also in the wait list. You can upload a reference audio here too. I will use the one in the Denoise OPT folder. Choose any audio you want. Hi guys! Here is how you can password protect your PDF file online for free. So here you can write the text from our reference audio. You can type it or you can go back to the main GPT Sobits folder, right click and edit with notepad. So here you can see the text. Let me copy this. And paste it here. So this text is reference for the audio only. You can also add the second audio for reference, but I will skip this part. Now in here, write the text you want to convert to audio using your voice. So the text is done. It will be converted to the audio. And here choose the language, that's English. 
Also choose the language here, English. You can leave this setup to default or change it if you want to experiment. You can also use this no slice or with English punctuations. You can also use the segmentation but I will skip this. Anyway, now click on start inference. Again, this will take some time. You can check the CMD for progress. Now simply wait till you see the audio. Just a quick reminder, this whole process of initial training and cloning of your voice takes quite a long time, especially if you are using a CPU. By a lot of time, we mean 2-3 to three hours depending on your processor. If you are using GPU, then it will be much faster. The text to audio, however, is not that slow, but again it depends on the length of your text. So it is all done, and you can play to listen. Hi everyone, please subscribe to our channel, thank you. So this is my clone voice, not as perfect, maybe because of a limited sample audio. And as well, I am not a native English speaker, and I am pretty sure it should sound good for a native speakers. Anyway, you can also experiment further with these settings and find the best match for your audio. We really hope this video was useful to you. Thank you very much.